now that we have our photos uh, out of Lightroom and on back onto our computer, the edited photos with the changes we've made, uh, now we can share them. And uh, for our class, we will be sharing them using Flickr, the website, photo sharing website Flickr. So I'll walk you through the steps to do that. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. There's a couple things to pay attention to, and I will make sure to highlight those. So here's how we do this. So we're going to start with uh, a web browser. Uh, you can uh, use either one that works uh, well for you, either Safari or Chrome. And once you're in your web browser, uh, you will type in Flickr, F-L-I-C-K-R dot com. Hit return, and then you will go to the Flickr website. Uh, I'm already logged in. Uh, you will need to spend a moment the first time uh, logging in and with your username and password. All right, I recommend you just stay logged in on Flickr. It'll save you time and energy going forward. Um, once you log off the computer in the classrooms, no one else uh, is able to get to your Flickr page. So here's how we start the process to upload photos to Flickr. It's really quite simple. In the top menu bar, the black bar, on the right hand side there's a cloud icon with a upward pointing arrow in it so click on that that's the upload process be, uh, icon and in here then you'll see a big blue button in the middle you'll click that once that says choose photos and then we'll navigate to where our photos are on the computer uh, in the last step on the export step in Lightroom I had you uh, save them to your desktop on the computer in an exports folder in a specific folder for this project, which in this case was nature. Uh, so now I need to select all these photos. Uh, and just like we do in Lightroom, I think the fastest way to select a, uh, all of a group of photos is with the keyboard shortcut Command A. Command A on a Mac, Control A on a PC. Uh, they will all be highlighted now, which means they are selected. And then the next step is to click on the Choose button in the lower right corner. Um, so click on that. You'll see a preview of your photos with uh, a pink border around them. That means they are selected and will be uploaded to Flickr when all is ready to go. Um, we need to do uh, two things here. Uh, one of them is uh, the most important part, and that is add to albums. Uh, when I grade your photos, I will look at the albums on your page for the grouping of photos so that I can easily find each assignment. So the first step is to click on Add to Albums, and you will find it probably an empty box here. It will be a, a white box with uh, uh, an empty space below. I have many, many f albums on Flickr through the years, so uh, here's how we start this process, though. Uh, just type the new name of the... Uh, of the album you want and uh, again I, I keep the names on my computer and online the same so in this case it will be nature that'll be the the name of the assignment uh, the, this group of photos in it uh, so just type nature then click create a new album uh, on this screen you will create album and then you will click the done button make sure that nature up here is selected and just click done all right, uh, a next step is to add these photos to our group for our class to make it easy to find uh, when people are just kind of browsing. If you want to look at other people's photos, which I highly, highly recommend, this is a fast way to look at all of them. So click on Add to Groups, and you will only likely have one group here, and that's just the group for our class. So you just got to click on the name of the group for our class. I got to scroll down a little bit here to find our group. Uh, summer, where's Summer? There we are, Summer. Uh, so we'll put this in a group and then type done, click done, excuse me. So now you'll see your photos are in an album on the left here and in a group also on the left. So albums and group, both are very important. Uh, albums is the most important. I'll see that on uh, when I grade your photos and uh, it will affect your score directly if you do not include your photos in an album. In fact, I will not even grade your assignment if your photos are not in an album. All right, last and final step is the upload uh, to complete this process. Uh, click on the uh, button, the blue button that says upload, and then with the number of photos you're doing, click it once, and uh, you will get this window. Click upload again, and just uh, wait a moment. Uh, this uh, print progress bar will go relatively quickly uh, if you don't have too many photos, um, and then you just wait for it to complete, 
and that will take just a moment. Once the upload is complete, I, I especially the first couple times you do this, I really recommend you double check that everything is how you expect it to be. So um, here's what I mean by that. It will, should take you to your page, uh, your Flickr page, and you'll see your photos, and um, everything should look as you expect. But the thing I'd like you to double check is to click on the word albums right here in the interface. Click it once. And uh, it will load your albums page and make sure that uh, the one you just created is available for view and that it has the expected number of photos in it. Uh, every once in a while, Flickr does get this number wrong, but just check it. Make sure it looks good. If anything looks a little funny, just click on it and it will take you to that album page so you can just double check things as well. So there's the 10 photos that I expect to see for this nature album. As with all things, if you do have questions on this, uh, this video or how to do the Flickr pro upload process, uh, leave a note on this uh, uh, comment on this e uh, video, or please send me an email directly at my Highline email address. Hope this is helpful. Uh, it's a pretty easy process. Once you do it once or twice, you should be really good to go. Uh, thanks again, and we'll uh, see you next time with our next video in class.